What is going on everybody, Mr. GameOI here, back at you with a game report video of Mune Football League in the parody of the Saints vs. Patriots today. My boys came through with another W for an away game after suffering from the biggest loss against the Panthers, which is very unfortunate. I'm happy to see my boys tuck, tuck down against Mac Jones as a rookie QB in his offense. They were ready and fully practiced practiced very well even some most of the injury players coming back and most coaches as well so at least that helped even though that doesn't make it okay or actually wait let me phrase that doesn't make it like a reason why they should win but still it's good for them to be back other than that let's go on the game report and just read off the plays and yards so for the <clears throat> The Saints, they have about 62 plays, 252 yards. They had 2 to 15 penalties, actually 2 penalties. They had 0 turnovers, 3rd down conversions 6 times, and they had not have a single 4th down conversion, which they never even struggled on the offense really, so. They had about 13 passes from 110 yards, passing TDs from up to 2, 13, 38 attempts, which is equals 142 yards by both Camara and Tony Jones Jr. combined. Rushing touchdown, at least one, by Taysom Hill, of course. The time possession of the ball, they kept it for 32 minutes and 48 seconds. They converted first downs 19 times, passed on first downs 9 times, and rushed yards for first downs 10 times. And then for the Patriots, let's see. While Mac Jones did pretty well, but still stopped shortly, unfortunately, they had about 70 plays, 300 yards, yards total, four penalties, three turnovers, lost to a fumble and interceptions, I guess, three, sorry, seven third down conversions, two out of three fourth down conversions, 30 attempts of passing, which is 251 yards, wow, passing touchdowns, which is yard one for the Patriots. They had a, for rushing, they had about 17 attempts, which is 49 yards. They had zero t rushing TDs. In the time of possession of the ball, they carried about 27 and 12, 27 minutes and 12 seconds. First downs, they converted 16 times from 10 first down passes and five rushing first downs and a penalty, which is which got them the first down. So. According to the scorings, at 7.35 first quarter, Jamez Woodson completed a pass from Camara, 11 yards, followed by a f extra point. <clears throat> Seven-yard pass touchdown from Winston to Marquise Calloway. Good to see him on board. And, let's see, Folk with a field goal extra point from the Patriots. Malcolm Jenkins with the first 10 seconds of third quarter, Picked sixth to the end zone. Malcolm Jenkins, baby. Followed by an extra point. Folk with the 26-yard field goal. And the Patriots it was able to get a touchdown from Mac Jones to Bourne, 22 yards, followed by an extra field point. And then, to end it off, a extra lead. Taysom Hill ends it off with a 40-yard run touchdown, followed by an extra point. And let's go over to the players on defense to see how many tackles slash interceptions they have made. So we got, let me look at number 52. Uh, number 52, Montavious Adams with one tackles. All right. Demario Davis, about eight. Jenkins with seven. Garner Johnson with five. Paulson Adibo, Abibo, Abibo, sorry, five. Ellis with four, PJ Williams three, Garner John, I mean Cameron Jordan, three, Payne Werner, actually, actually who is number? Give me a second. Pete Warner, my bad, with two, Tuttle with two, Marcus Williams with two, Adams with. Oh wait, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. actually wait, wait. Okay, I was just making sure if I got this right. I'm just reading this correctly. Uh, wow, let's got changed a little. I don't know what, <laughs> but anyways, let me go on to the interception. So the first interception was picked off by PJ Williams and we got a final pick pick off for the last 
seconds of the game by Marshawn Lattimore from Ohio State. Yep, that's what I like to see right here. The better the the better the defense, the better the plays they play. Look at them. Even with some of them rookies, they were able to pull through and stop the offense on Matt Jones. So this is a wonderful turnout game right there for sure. Makes me happy, quite happy. Other than that, let's see how they're able to handle Daniel Jones and the Giants next Sunday, which I'm looking forward to see that as well. And I will still do the matchup video next Saturday, next weekend, followed by a report after the game. And this is going to take place at the Caesar Dome, I believe, which it is a home, which it is a home game. If I take a look at the schedule. Yep, so they'll be versing the Giants Sunday, October 3rd at the Caesar Dome. If the Caesar Dome is ready to be used. So hopefully this will be a tremendous home game. I believe they never had a home game once for sure. So this is going to be their first home game now for sure. Now that, that's, now that the Dome is fixed and ready to go. So other than that, this is going to be the end of my report. Thank you all for those who are tuning in. If you're enjoying this, please share the love by subscribing and liking this video if you love it. Other than that, you all have a good day. Peace.